right, every time we get a brand new watch in, one of the first things we look for, even if it's an uncut strap like this, always got to double and triple check that if it's been polished. When I first looked at this, one of the things I look for is one, how sharp are the lugs? Looks pretty good here. The overall symmetry of the bezel, to me that looks pretty much perfect. Also, if the brush around the bezel is straight or if it has any sort of like rigid lines, this looks perfect to me. The little edge right here, sometimes that's a dead giveaway. If this is rounded, it feels pretty sharp to me. But another thing, since this is a white gold piece, if you know what a polished white gold watch looks like, that's something that you could look out for because the color would be slightly more dim. Jackie? Yes? I showed this to you, what do you think? I would want to loop it because I was looking at it. I look at it with the, the naked lugs, the eye. High polish. I mean, I'm 90% of the time I get it right, but to be indispensable, we bring it to our watchmaker. This watch is only two months old and it's uncut. So. I want to steam it because it has like a lot of residue on it, but it does look really clean. The thing is, like on the lugs, it does have some little lines, but I don't know if that's just from the plastic. That's why I want to steam it because you know sometimes the plastic can muck it up. No, they're super sharp. The edges, even. Like what you really want to look at is the edges here, like how sharp yeah, those 90 exactly. degrees yeah, are. Yeah. And they're sharp. Okay, uh, let's go see if it's been polished. Got the ceramic. <laughs> I have a very big doozy, a boo-boo someone made. Remember how we were telling people how to take care of their Rolexes? We should also tell them how to take care of well, their ceramic this, watches. This was, this was a freak accident. I don't know what actually happened, but it was in someone's watch roll. I believe it was in his suitcase. He took it out and it broke. As you guys may know, with ceramic, if it breaks, it's not like you can just put it back together. It's pretty much toast. So we're basically gonna have to take the pin out of this, get the plastic off of that, and then replace the link. If it were like these links right here, and if it was like on the back side of it or if it was like chipped right here it is chipped right there. it's chipped Can I see? where um right here oh wow right there yeah I mean we can show Garrett but yeah that's not ideal um, I don't know Garrett, we, yeah this is this link's gonna break too there's a chip right there. On the inside too. He dropped the watch. Someone dropped the as watch. I was Maybe his maid or his wife. Yeah, or as someone I was definitely literally dropped saying it. how if it's too high up, then it's like pretty much unfixable, unfortunately. That's not terrible. Yeah. It, no, the, it the watch, still, the watch still, still has life. It still has life. It's, it's still, still on life well. support. Yeah. So AP ceramics are most people's grail watches, whether it's the perpetual calendar or the chrono, they're absolutely amazing timepieces. This is the first time where we've seen it where there's been a crack on a ceramic watch above the removable link. So it'd have to go to AP to get replaced. Unfortunately, that can happen. However, here at g, &G we've sold, I don't know, probably over 50 of these watches. They're one of our top sellers and we've never seen this before. So we have an extra link and we're going to resuscitate this watch. Give it new life. Let me see if that links the right one. Okay. Because the chrono links are different. Yeah, sure. so it seems like someone we're gonna dropped this watch. We're going to pray on it. Yeah, for sure. Because it's not it, it's not that easy to break. What's up? Good morning. Just make sure, no polish, right? No? No polish? It has it ever been polished, yes or no? Do you have polished anteriormente or no? No. No, okay. Here we have a Google. No, it's brand new. Okay, perfect. Brand new. Gotcha. More often than not, I am right, but we're always going to check it with Jose, and in this instance, he checked it, and the watch is unpolished, so the customer is super pumped to get his brand new 5968G. No. Un broken, broken. Can you put this? The link? <laughs> Very delicate. Yeah, it's very delicate. delicate. So if you're gonna break your ceramic watch, make sure it's the bottom six lengths. Anything above that, you might be screwed. Yeah, the mal Muy delicado. Los Argentinos. No. Delicado. Delicado. Oh, oh, la bolsita. La bolsita. ¿Viste que Alex sabe hablar? Sí, Alex sabe mucho. 
I didn't sprout this Spanish. <laughs> All right, so now we can sell the watch is brand new. It was polished. A lot of instances, depending on what the dealer sold us the watch as, we'd either ship it back or we would have to get money off from the watch, depending on the scenario. Obviously, with this being a brand new 2024, very freaking weird if this was polished since it's only two months old, but we always double check to make sure it's good to go. So now we can sell this one at top dollar since it's brand new. The client on the ceramic watch will keep the watch as is. It does have that crack, but he's just gonna continue to wear it. We also did a ton of research, found him a really good solution at affordable price. Who replaced the bracelet? And that's another thing we do here at G&G. &G. If there are problems with your watch, we will fight to the very end to make sure that the customer service is absolutely flawless and we're able to fix your watch or service it, whatever is needed. On top of that, I highly recommend going to a watchmaker to have them change the links on your ceramic watch. I myself have tried doing it. It's really hard. 100% bring it to a watchmaker because if you break the link, that could be a thousand dollar mistake. Alec, like, out of these three, which are you wearing, flipping, and collecting? I'm wearing the 6701, most comfortable watch that you can get. And that value on that piece right now is unbeatable. Collecting. The 5711, it's a discontinued watch. The white was discontinued before the blue and it's my favorite watch of all time. And then I'm flipping this guy, it's too sketch. Uh, I don't like diamonds, so those are my three. Alec thought the blue sapphires are sketch, but I really, really like them. I like them more than baguettes because I think it kind of blends with the watch and that watch is super rare. So I do think that there's an upside. But other than that, I agree with his picks. All right, ready? Which one are you wearing, flipping, or collecting? So first we got a 5164R, mm -hmm. we got a 5980 1 AR with a Tiffany stamp. And then we got 3700 1A from 1978. One of my favorite things to do is to stump Garrett. So I literally picked three of the exact same watches just so you'd have issues figuring out which one he was gonna wear, flip, and collect. I will be wearing the 5164R. I just think it's a great everyday wear, comfortable on the wrist. Whew. I will be collecting the 5980 Tiffany stamp. I feel like someday, maybe Patek and Tiffany, they lose a relationship. And I think that down the road, just like some of the Rolex Tiffany stamps, you know, they no longer make those. I think down the road, this could have a huge upside. It's a very close battle with the, the 3700. I think they made quite a few of those. I, I'm, I'm flipping that one. Good choices. Here's some behind the scenes footage of our shoot with Surroundings Group. We meet up with them roughly once a month. They either come to our office or they link us with other companies that are in similar spaces, such as private jets, boats, cars, you name it. You've seen them in the past, but they love to stop by to see some of the new inventory and advertise it on their Instagram page. Grab Garrett started off, he's the founder. <laughs> Hi there, this is Garrett Foreman, founder and owner of G&G Timepieces. We're at our Miami location. We're also located in Zurich, Switzerland, in the Schweiz. But G&G here in our showcase, we have a wide variety of watches. Usually when we're buying and selling watches, we like to by let's call it like a grail category, or like a mid-tier category, and then kind of our volume pieces that we sell a lot of. For grails, what we consider a grail or that are kind of our top of the line pieces are really unique pieces that are have been made some in less than 100 pieces. For instance, Richard Mill, as we know, makes under 5,000 watches. Of those, have this special tono shape, which is really when you see a Richard Mill from across the room is what everyone recognizes. And they make it in a bunch of different materials, a lot of pieces that are one of 30, one of 100. Here we have a RM30 orange, which is limited of 30 pieces. We also have the green veneer, which is discontinued, and the Le Mans. So that's our, our grail section at G&G. All right, so Garrett pretty much hit the nail on the head. A lot of the stuff we stock, we stock it for a reason because one, we know our client base. Two, we get tons of requests on these particular pieces. And three, when we're getting these sold orders and calls. A lot of the stuff that we are getting calls on is very similar to this stuff. Nine times out of 10, we either have it in stock, we either have it at our Zurich office, or we can get it sourced over within one to two business days. So just based off of some of the watches that Garrett went over, one of our most popular, it is my absolute favorite watch, is this black ceramic perpetual. In terms of investability and value, I'd say this is one of the strongest pieces. I sold this watch about a year and a half ago 
at around 215,000. And even today it's holding the value. As you guys know, a lot of the watches amongst every single brand, minus Paddock on some pieces have dipped down a lot. So we're advising our clients for making sure that the one, they're getting the best value of the piece too, it suits them. And three, it's something that when they're gonna trade it back in, it's not gonna absolutely kill them and we're gonna run their pockets for the piece. Don't be afraid to reach out. If you have any questions about any time pieces, we have all of our phone numbers on our website. We have bios, get to know us a little bit better. So feel free to reach out. We'd love to talk time pieces with you guys.